Oh no! Dude, I can s the hot sauce is now, oh god. It's bubbling out. What is that? Any fish over here? <laughs> we got a fish underwater, man. And we got a whole bluegill here. <laughs> we got a chili, mac and cheese, and we've got our nice cold Red Bull. Oh, we got bubbles, just a bubbling. <laughs> One of the coolest experiences of my life. And I gotta say, it's all thanks to you guys who watch the videos. We get to do bigger and crazier stuff. And I get to take big swings because of you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this. It's all because of your support. The more support we get, the more crazy stuff I'll continue to do for you. Today, we're gonna be attempting the world's first catch and cook underwater in a submarine. We could be the first ones to ever try it because as soon as we light a flame underwater, we potentially could explode. So this right here is my 1998 personal submarine. And if you guys have watched my channel in the past, you've seen us do a whole series restoring this submarine to get it back to fully functioning. And today, well, we're taking it a step further because we're gonna be cooking inside of it, which has never been done to my knowledge, at least in a personal submarine, maybe, I don't know, like the Navy definitely has to cook in there, right? But we are gonna take it a step further because we're gonna drop the submarine in, go down, go out. And at that point, I'll be driving around looking for fish. I will swim out of the back of it, catch a fish, get back into the submarine, start to cook it, and then eat it while looking at the other fish. <laughs> it sounds so bad when you say it like that. I'm gonna be eating Frank in front of like Bill and Jill, their friends, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm a hungry man. Let's go ahead and turn the air on slowly. All right, that is one. System two is on. Opening system two. System three, 3200 PSI. We're gonna go ahead and bring air into the cab. Good to go, main power. All right, we have power. Throttle check out the window. We have power. Submarine is on. Ready to rock and roll. Nice and slow. Water's rushing in. Oh boy. All right, hopefully I got all this done correctly. Putting the cup low. All right, water's coming into the cab. Floating up the Yeti. We are gushing water into the cabin. A little leak out of the battery box. Should be good to go. There's a spider. You're not coming to the deck. Okay, auto uh, thing is on, auto buoyancy. All right, auto buoyancy is now off. We are, uh, we're off the trailer, folks. We're fully submarined right now. <laughs> Before we head down to the depths and go find some fish, let me give you a little bit of a submarine tour. <laughs> Here is how I drive the submarine also. See the water down there. You can hear it trying to auto. Here's some of our worms. We're gonna put that on our little floating table. Our battery box is down there. Technically at any point, it could explode. That is a thing, so we just have to be mindful of that. But here's how we drive the sub. So we have up, back, left, right. Uh, when we go up, it's shooting water. Shooting water out the sides there. This right here is how we steer the submarine. So we can go up and down with that and it will articulate the sides there. You have a lot of fancy little levers here. That's how you sink the submarine and then get it back up. You open and close ports. And then back here on the wall of greatness, <laughs> we have all of our air control systems. There's a ton. Each scuba tank connects to the air system which goes inside of the cabin. Also, each scuba tank has a regulator if we need to breathe off of the air. We also have these spare air units which you can pull off the wall and breathe them at any time. We have a ton of backups of air. We've got in-cabin air. We've got three spare airs. There's one up here, there's two here, and then we have three regulators as well. But there's a lot we have to do, so let's go ahead and drop down and let's go find us some fish. All right, oh man, this is, this is just where life gets so sketchy. Releasing, letting air out. There's a spider, a spider. Oh boy. Close up the back, let the front go down. We're getting close to the bottom. Close it. It's so funny, even though you're in the air, you still have to 
clear your nose. All right, we're getting down there. Let's wash out some windows, little, little sub wash. There we go. Now we're on the ground. <laughs> How crazy is that? All right, boys, we are driving. Just gotta go find us some freaking bluegills. <laughs> wow. Getting a little too much water in the cabin here. I don't like that. A little too much water in the cabin. Look at that. There's some, some kind of structure. So what we're looking for is a fish structure that we can fish off of. So right now I just saw something. I'm not sure what it was, but we're looking for some good structure. Oh God. All right. Here. There we go. There's something. What is that? Any fish over here? Any fish? I don't think I see any fish. All those glass minnows. Oh my gosh. That is crazy, dude. A whole school of minnows. Woo, we're by the fish now, boys. My gosh. <laughs> we're surrounded by bait right now. This is freaking epic. All right. I will see you. Well, I guess outside the stuff. But uh, hopefully I bring a fish back in. All right. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. structure over there. I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> if you guys watch the videos, you guys know that there's a specific way I want to cook this guy, and that's with hot grease. Unfortunately, 
in the submarine, if you start heating up grease and you get a drop of water, you're gonna have a fire in no time. And submarines are already dangerous. Grease and water is dangerous, so I don't think we need to mix the two. With that being said, I brought a special little plan for our cook. Because if we're gonna make this guy a meal, we might as well make him a gourmet meal. And then I promise I'm gonna come back into the submarine and make some delicious sides to go with that meal. But let's give this guy the respect he deserves. Let's take him to the ultimate cooking station, the Catch and Cook Cabin. But first I gotta get there. Come on, little guy. Welcome to the Catch and Cook Cabin, folks. If you guys haven't seen this, this is our on the water hotel, if you will. It's our floating houseboat, and we have created this thing to be able to catch and cook the fish. Well, if you guys are new to the videos, I'll go ahead and give you guys a home tour. First of all, welcome to the Catch and Cook Cabin. Right here, we've got our sleeping quarters. It sleeps four. If you put any more, it does kind of feel like the houseboat's gonna flip over, I'm not gonna lie to you, but up top, We've got our bluegill bait, so we've got our small game wall. And then right here, we've got our big bass baits. And then uh, it's decorated with nice plush pillows that just happen to resemble the real life version of what we're gonna be eating. We've got our storage up here. We've got a stove, microwave. We've got all our cooking items down there. My personal favorite is our big kitchen that we made for the ultimate catch and cook. So we got our hard, chop block here we got our deep dish sink we've got all of our custom knives that are actually magnetic to the wall seasonings we've got our tv sound bar and we even have ice cold air conditioning and after this dive i'm probably gonna hop in the back and take an instant hot shower it has everything you need to be the ultimate outdoor catch and cook station but i know you guys aren't here for a house tour so let's go ahead and break out the grease get it nice and hot and let's make this bluegill Delicioso. I can't really show this part on YouTube, so. Just a little, little dab of that right there. I think it's been sitting in the houseboat a little too long because it got a little clumpy. <laughs> but we'll give that guy a little pat down. <laughs> He's thinking about it, dude. He's thinking about it. Now remember, this was literally just swimming right here. <laughs> right here. He's bubbling up. Oh, oh, I broke his tail off. Oh, I broke his tail off. Look at that. <laughs> How many people you think have ever used a vacuum sealer to <laughs> go down with their food for a submarine? All right. We have our waterproof bluegill now, so <laughs> we're good to go. And look at the little vacuum tail, dude. <laughs> That's gonna be a nice little crunchy. Oh my gosh, all right. All right, Captain, that way. <laughs> Take me back to the Aquamobile. <laughs> Stay up here, buddy. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Dude, it looks so dumb like that. My freaking, this is the worst pack lunch ever. <laughs> There's a couple of little things in my bag. <laughs> We've got adventure meals. And let me tell you what, this is a freaking adventure right here. So this one's fettuccine Alfredo and chicken. We have buffalo style chicken mac and cheese, which I think buffalo style chicken mac and cheese, that normally would hurt my stomach or, or something that probably will hurt my stomach. But I think we can risk it. We are in the submarine. It's kind of like, you know, we gotta go just go <laughs> i'm just kidding that's gross but this is how we're gonna cook underwater this just feels so sketchy burner goes on gas all right oh god all right holy crap all right that worked that burnt red i've never seen that before Why did that do that? We basically have to boil water and toss it. Oh, oh no, no. All right, well, that's not good. 
All right, that's what I am now. Oh my gosh, this feels like a terrible idea. There it goes. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so scary. All right. I think we're good. I think we got enough. I think it's a little hot. We're good. Oh God. It's making so many noises. Oh God. All right. All right. We turned it off. I can't tell if that's just steam or now that we have like burnt gas and smoke in here. Oh yeah, the, the windows are fogged up. All right, let's set that over here. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm breathing out of this because the air that's in here can be jeopardized. So this is straight from the cabin. I would say this looks a little less than appetizing. Boiling hot water. Oh yeah. All right. Perfect. Maybe, maybe did a little too much hot water. Dude, I can, the hot sauce is now, oh God. It's bubbling out. The bubble, oh God. It's bubbling out a little bit. Oh God. The hot sauce, okay. The, maybe the buffalo style chicken was a bad idea because the hot sauce, I can smell it and it's burning my eyes now. I've like created mace in the submarine. All right, we shake it up. She's sealed up now. We shake her up. I gotta get some real air in here. This is so bad. <laughs> now we do have to wait about 10 minutes for that to be done. But what would a meal be without a nice Red Bull? <laughs> How sick is this, dude? Oh, the light, the nice little crack underwater. Red Bull, hopefully it doesn't give you wings right now because I don't want to float to the surface. The carbonation in the Red Bull is legitimately different because we're at depth. So the molecules are tighter, which makes me concerned because I have to go to the surface. They start expanding and stuff. I could, that could be bad. Okay. So while I enjoyed my nice Red Bull, we waited for a little bit. I uh, I have to be quick because all of these GoPros are about to die, and I have no more GoPro batteries, and there's no way to get them in here. So let's be quick with this. We got my bluegill. Let's. <laughs> we got my vacuum seal bluegill here. <laughs> what a mess, dude. What an absolute mess. Let's get this guy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's actually still nice and hot from the deep fryer. So we got him. Oh, dude, it actually looks so. Oh, it smells good too. Shovel off a little piece over the rib cage. Beautiful. So we got a piece of bluegill. We got meat. We got a little bit of skin. It's very bland. <laughs> it's very bland. We should have thrown a lot more spices on this, but you know what we need with bluegill? We need our buffalo style chick chicken mac and cheese which by the way guys looks so appetizing look at that it's like actually like super cheesy mm. this is so good this is so good mm. this is it this could be my life I could just live in the submarine forever just hook me up with a little bit of oxygen and your boy is ready to go. Mm. Delicioso. Cheers to you guys at home. I, I wish you could enjoy this meal with me. It is very, very good. We got a good piece here. Got a good piece of bluegill. We'll go in with our mac and cheese. Double up. Mm. That is it, folks. We have officially done it. The world's first underwater submarine catch and cook. I don't think it's ever been done before. We could have just broken a record right now. We got the bluegill. We found it. 
With this submarine, hold on, oxygen break. You gotta get more oxygen in here. It's just so bad. You, you can't cook in the sub all the time. It really messes up the air. We found structure, we got out, we caught a fish. We brought him back into the submarine. I showed you guys. Went to the houseboat, catch and cook, brought it back in vacuum sealed. And then we even lit a flame underwater, which is terrifying because we got a lot of gases and a lot of compressed air going on. And we do have the batteries right down there that do emit. So the guy who built this thing said, no sparks because you'll blow it up. Well, we didn't blow it up yet, <laughs> which is good. So I'm not gonna lie, I have to get out of here because, well, you can tell the windows, they're all fogged up. The air is just not good in here and I have to keep randomly doing this because I'm getting lightheaded. So I will see you guys. Oh God, a little Red Bull burp going on. I'll see you guys at the surface. Uh, yeah, let me, let me finish that Red Bull though. Insane. And we got a whole bluegill here. <laughs> we got a chili, mac and cheese, and we've got our nice cold Red Bull. Oh, we got bubbles just a bubbling. <laughs> One of the coolest experiences of my life. And I gotta say, it's all thanks to you guys who watch the videos. We get to do bigger and crazier stuff. And I get to take big swings because of you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's all because of your support. The more support we get, the more crazy stuff I'll continue to do for you. Cheers, guys. Like this is just, this doesn't even feel real. <laughs> I got my food up here. When I got to the service, I realized <laughs> we flooded the battery box and we have zero power. So the submarine's dead in the water. Basically, <laughs> thank God we don't need electricity to float it back to the surface. I would have been stuck back there, but we got to do the old swim back to shore with a sub, so. There you have it, folks. Back on land. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. I mean, what a cool concept, you know? I've always thought, like, the catch and cooks were cool, especially when we got the catch and cook cab and started doing more and more, and you guys seem to like them, and we've always kind of thought it would be cool when we did the video when we were catching fish underwater. We always thought it would be cool to take it to the next level and cook them, but I don't know. I, <laughs> obviously, there's a lot entailed into that. So this was a video we had to think out every step of the way. And we had a lot of safety measures in place, like two. <laughs> but as soon as we sparked that propane, we had no idea what was going to happen. The cab literally could blow because of the battery fumes. I don't know. It's like it's something that happens with batteries where they off gas. And it can be flammable. So I was really, really nervous, but it all worked out. I actually have my food still in the sub right now and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get her loaded up. But what an incredible day, absolutely milestone. And I truly do believe that this is a world record. We are gonna be the first people to do a catch and cook underwater and at least put it on YouTube in their own mini personal submarine. The big submarines, the big, Navy ones or even the Triton ones, those aren't like personal submarines. You know, this is like that close combat feeling and it is definitely not made to cook out of, but we get us a little floating table in there next time. We get a little ice chest, you know, something. We could be onto something. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. I like to live life in a way where you do things differently than everyone else or you try to do things that people have never done that's what excites me and i think we accomplished that today hopefully you guys enjoyed it it's absolutely unbelievable never could have done the submarine series without all of your support and now that it's finally built we get to go out and have all these crazy adventures unfortunately i think we did flood the battery box so 
we got to revisit that and we've got some cool interior ideas that you guys might see up next so with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next adventure Woo! and i might have to go use the bathroom on the catch and cook cabin <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later Mwah! I'm gonna take this in for a second. <sighs> Could just be the lack of oxygen, but I feel like I'm having one of those like core memory moments. <laughs> just look at the spread. Absolutely unreal.